calculate the packing fraction of a diamond crystal with lattice constant A. So let's take a look at the diamond crystal. We have uh, atoms at face centers, atoms at the corners of the cube, and atoms, uh, four atoms inside the unit cell. And these atoms are located such that the underlying uh, lattice is uh, uh, a face centered cubic lattice with a two atom bases, uh, one at 0, 0, 0, the other one at 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 1 fourth. So, with this basis placed at this face centered cubic uh, structure, we find the diamond crystal. So, you can see that the second atom in the basis at location A over 4, A over 4, A over 4 is on the body diagonal. And uh, basically, if you look at uh, all the atoms in the face centered cubic structure, you, you see that uh, only four of them uh, fall inside the unit cell. And uh, now we want to calculate the packing fraction, so we're going to use the close packing uh, hard sphere approximation. So in the hard sphere close packing approximation we're going to uh, assume that the nearest neighbors touch okay so who are the nearest neighbors well the nearest neighbors are the two atoms in the basis and they are at a distance uh, a square root 3 over 4 a square root 3 is the uh, body diagonal but we have the the second uh, atom in the basis at a over 4 a over 4 so the distance between them is a square root 3 over 4 so therefore Uh, in a diamond crystal, the two atoms at locations 0, 0, 0 and A over 4, A over 4, a over 4 touch now I want to uh, talk about an important detail here so as you can see in this uh, picture it seems that the at the second atoms in the bases are shown with uh, green the first atoms are shown with blue if these atoms are the same atoms as in silicon this is uh, the diamond structure if these two atoms are different atoms, as in gallium arsenide, then this would be called a zinc blend structure. Okay, so uh, green atoms are the same as blue atoms, then it is diamond. Uh, green atoms are not the same as blue atoms, then it's called zinc blend. So this is, uh, for example, gallium arsenide. Uh, this is, for example, silicon. Okay, so after clarifying this point, uh, let's look at the two atoms, the closest atoms, that uh, the nearest neighbors. Uh, in the hard sphere approximation, these are modeled as spheres. Uh, the distance, center to center distance between the two is two radii. Since they are identical atoms, they have the same uh, radius and uh, the distance between the nearest neighbors, as we have found out here, is a square root 3 over 4. So this 2r must be equal to a square root 3 over 4. Therefore, the radius of one of the spheres is a square root 3 over 8. So we're going to use this radius to calculate the uh, volume occupied by these hard spheres. So what is the number of atoms per cell? Well, we have eight atoms at the corners. So 
uh, one eighth of each one is inside the unit cell. So eight times one over eight from the corners. Then we have six atoms at the face centers. Half of them are within this unit cell. So six times one half face centers. And then we have four atoms, the green ones, uh, inside. These are the green, uh, shown as the green atoms here. So this would give me a total of 1 plus 3 plus 4 equals to 8 atoms per cell. Now, there's another way to look at this. So... Uh, we can think of it as the face-centered cubic structure with the two atom bases and we can figure out the number of atoms per cell uh, with this idea. So, uh, or we can think of it, think of the uh, diamond unit cell as a face centered cubic structure with a two atom basis at zero 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 and a over four a over 4, A over 4. With that, we can answer how many bases do I have in a unit cell? The number of bases is 1 over 8 times 8 from the corners and 1 half of the 6, at the, of the six lattice points, face centers. So this will give me the number of bases, four bases per unit cell. And then the number of atoms per cell, I can basically say, is the number of bases per cell multiplied by the number of atoms per basis atoms per basis so we have a total of eight <clears throat> so we have figured out that we have eight atoms in the unit cell and uh, we have figured out the radius of one of the heart spheres to be a square root three over eight so what is the total volume occupied by heart spheres we occupied so the volume occupied will be because i have eight atoms eight times the volume of one sphere what is the volume of a sphere it is four thirds pi r cube so it's going to be 32 over 3 pi a square root 3 over 8 cube so this will give me 32 pi over 3 multiplied by 3 square root 3 divided by 8 cube a cube so you can see that uh, the 3's will cancel here and then I will have uh, this becoming a 2 if I divide it by 8 so this is going to be a 4 uh, and then I will have uh, 8 times 8 and there's a 4 on top so it's going to be 8 times 2 in the denominator so it's going to be 16 so this will be pi square root 3 divided by 16 a cube that is the total volume occupied by hard spheres. Now, what is packing fraction? Packing fraction is by definition the total volume occupied
by heart spheres. divided by the unit cell volume. The total volume occupied by heart spheres was uh, pi square root 3 over 16 a cube. The unit cell volume was a cube. So these a cubes will uh, cancel. And I will be left with pi square root 3 over 16. So what I have done here, I have divided V occupied by V cell. And what is this value, the packing fraction, pi square root 3 over 16? This is approximately equal to 0 0.34. So this means that we have 34% of the unit cell volume occupied by heart spheres and the rest is empty space. So we have quite a lot of empty space in a diamond uh, unit cell. Okay, so let's summarize what we did here. Uh, the idea was to calculate the packing fraction of a diamond crystal with lattice constant A. So uh, here is a picture of a diamond crystal. If these green and blue atoms are the same, it's going to be a zinc plant if they are different, as in gallium arsenide. Uh, and these atoms are arranged such that we have an underlying face-centered cubic lattice with a two-atom basis at 0, 0, 0 and 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 1 fourth. And the distance between nearest neighbors is a square root 3 over 4. So first, we found the radius of one of the heart spheres by the assumption that the nearest neighbors uh, touch. So this was our assumption. The nearest neighbors uh, touch. So uh, the radius of one of the heart spheres was found to be a square root 3 over 8. And then we have determined the number of atoms per cell. Uh, from the face-centered cubic lattice, uh, we have eight atoms at the corners, one over eight of each inside the unit cell. Half of the face centers inside the unit cell, six times one half, and four inside, eight atoms per cell. Or we, we could uh, think of this as the number of bases per cell as four, and then we can multiply it with the number of atoms per ace basis, which is two, so we have eight atoms. Total volume occupied by heart spheres, we multiply the number of atoms per cell with the volume of one of the heart spheres. And packing fraction is the total volume occupied by heart spheres divided by the unit cell volume, which turns out to be 0 0.34. Or, in other words, we can say 34% of the unit cell volume is occupied by these atoms modeled as heart spheres.